Hey guys, it's me, Takani, and today we're going to be recapping Winter House Season 3, Episode 7, Parental Advisory. It's Gaper Day. And for those that are uncultured like me, Gaper Day is a day in April where everybody dresses up ridiculously and pretends to be a gaper. What's a gaper, you might ask? Well, don't be so dirty-minded. Gaper means guaranteed accident prone on every run. Which describes me to a T, but I don't think I'll be referring to myself as a gaper anytime soon. Basically, a gaper is like a beginning sledder, a beginning snowboarder, a beginning skier. And so they all dress up ridiculously. The housemates go to the slopes and meet up with Captain Sandy for some snowboarding and skiing. As Brian is driving the car, he tells Katie and Casey about how he was looking in his DMs and someone was telling him to grow up and get off his mom's bosom. Katie and Casey immediately comfort him and are like, some women love mama's boys. Don't let them get to you. In my opinion, as long as they aren't, I love a mama's boy, mama's boy, you know, that TLC show, where they basically refuse to set boundaries for their mother, then I don't think there's anything wrong with a mama's boy. But if the mom is a boy's mom, you might want to just back away slowly. A boy's mom doesn't want you there. She wants to be her son's number one. She raised him to be the perfect husband, and she doesn't want him to be married to anyone that doesn't fit her standards, which are unbelievably high. Just look up boy's mom here on YouTube, and you'll find tons of videos about it. <laughs> Danielle is sitting with Alex, and she tells him that if he ever comes up to her neck of the woods, they should hang out, and he is instantly put off. This is supposed to be just a summertime fling. He doesn't want to have anything outside of that. But instead of telling her that, he just kind of, he just kind of freezes her out. In his confessional, he says that it's a major red flag that Danielle wants to meet outside of the house. Meanwhile, in Danielle's confessional, she says she enjoys sleeping with him, and while she doesn't want anything serious, she knows that they're on the same page. Alex apparently does not believe they're on the same page. They go home and it is taco night and everybody looks hot. Corey tells the house that his parents are coming in and that Sam will be coming in after they leave. After dinner, Danielle hunts down Alex and brings him to bed and he says he's just a man, so you know he went with her. The next day, Amanda is still feeling nauseous, so her and Kyle get a pregnancy test and she takes it. It comes back negative and she is just relieved. Kyle, on the other hand, seems a little disappointed. In their confessionals, they both say they'll be happy when it does happen, but Amanda is in no rush for it to happen right now. While Corey, Brian, and Danielle are outside talking, they talk about the strange vibe in the house. Alex is being distant, Jordan isn't hype enough, and Amanda's not feeling well. Brian tells Danielle that he thinks that Jordan is being low energy because, like, all the men aren't flirting with her. Kyle's taken, Corey's taken, Alex is taken, she's not interested in Brian. <laughs> Meanwhile, Jordan and Alex are talking in the living room. Jordan asks about Alex and Danielle, and Alex says it's nothing serious, and after the vacation, they'll be going their separate ways. Danielle sees them talking, and as before, and as forever after, she is upset. In her confessional, she says that she feels like they're playing a cruel joke on her. Corey's mom, Tracy, and dad, Brian, who is nicknamed Chief, show up to the house with alcohol, ready to party. In Corey's confessional, he says that they're absolute party animals, and that's where he gets his party animalness from. Corey's mom, Tracy, Danielle, Amanda, Katie, Jordan, and Alex all go for some wine. The ladies were telling Corey's mom that they think Sam might be the one for Corey. And how he really likes her. Danielle calls Alex for being distant with her, and then she decides it's a good time to pull aside Jordan and be like, yo, why are you being so low energy? First, she talks about how great her and Alex are getting along and how she wants that for Jordan too. I don't know what relationship she's seeing, but sure. Danielle flat out tells Jordan that she's being low energy because there aren't any men hitting on her. I guess she's not including Alex or Brian, who were definitely hitting on her, but okay. Jordan says, yeah, it does suck that she's not being flirted with all the time, but it's not going to affect her personality. She doesn't need a man. 
Danielle and Jordan then talk about being distant from each other, and Danielle finally admits that she gets uncomfortable and a little bit jealous when Jordan and Alex are talking. Jordan said that she wasn't aware that it bothered her so much. Danielle apologizes for not telling her, and takes accountability for not communicating that with Jordan and just still being mad about it. Chief, Malia, Casey, Corey, Brian, and Kyle all go on the slopes. Chief is surprised that Corey hasn't hooked up with any of the ladies in the house, and he asks if it's because of Sam, and Corey replies, yeah, kind of. After they go home, while Corey's parents are heading out, his mom stops and asks him if she needs to meet Sam, and if things really are serious, because that's what she heard at the wine thing. Corey insists that they aren't official, and that whoever said that is a liar. As Jordan's going to her room, she vents with Alex about how she was being told that she's not bringing the vibes because she doesn't have a man. She expresses her annoyance of being reduced to a woman that needs a man. And when Alex asks who said that, she said it was Danielle. And Alex straight up is like, Danielle's the worst. Well, Danielle overheard them. And she is spiraling. Poor Brian gets caught in the crossfire. And as he's opening clothing packages from his mom, Danielle comes over and pretty much just throws all of his stuff everywhere. And he's like, what are you doing? That's my mom's stuff. She got me that. And Danielle's like, I'm trying to party. Who goes around and opens packages at a party? Kyle tries to stop her and Danielle is still just fuming. Casey says in her confessional that she thinks Danielle just enjoys raging. And maybe she would enjoy one of those destruction rooms. Brian grabs his stuff and he goes downstairs to his room. And he tells Alex to get his girl under control. Danielle then goes to Brian's room and she blames him for making a big deal of her throwing his clothes. Brian tells her that he felt disrespected and she needs to chill. He tells Danielle, you threw him clothes that my mom got me. And that's disrespectful to my mom. And Danielle's like, don't bring your mom into this. Bro, it's about the mom, you know what I mean? She got him the clothes. I think maybe if he bought himself the clothes, he probably wouldn't have been so bothered. But his mom got him those clothes. His mom picked him out. Like, he hasn't had a chance to actually look at them yet. And she's just throwing them around. Danielle then tells Brian to come correct. And don't get things twisted. They hug it out because Brian is an absolute sweetheart. And he lets it go. Danielle then asks Brian if he thinks that Alex likes her. And Brian's like, yeah, of course he does. Then Danielle tells Brian that she's just going to avoid Alex. And Brian's like, it's not that deep. And Danielle says she needs a second and then she goes to her room and cries and pulls herself together. Meanwhile, Casey is upstairs telling Amanda what happened. Alex comes in and says, hey, why is Danielle mad? Is it my fault? Did I do something? And Amanda admits that maybe Alex should stay a little bit away from Danielle because it might backfire on him. I did not expect things to go south so fast. I believe that Danielle is very much in her emotions. And I think it's hard for her to admit that. Maybe she wasn't ready to sleep with someone else yet. That's the end of this episode. What did you think about Demon Danielle coming after poor Brian? Do you think that throwing Brian's stuff was way too far? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like or dislike the video, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys! And Danielle straight at... And actually getting... Blah. She expresses where everybody ridic-